Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chaspais. Today we are at the next topic that is the control of open file. In lesson 141, we have seen how to create an open file. Today we are going to extend it further and see how to get control of the open file. If there is only one open file on the board and if we get control of that file, the position can become winning. This is the game position which I have taken. White played the move Rook C1. Rook C8 trying to contest the file, stopping Rook C7. Once the Rook controls the file, then it wants to get hold of that file and the Rook wants to enter the 7th rank. He goes with the very strong Bishop A6. This is one of the ways to snatch the file. We attack the Rook. And if the rook has no advanced post on that file, then he has to surrender the file. Now rook is not having any place on c7. He can go to c6, but knight e5 again attacks the rook. Rook has no place on c4 because of the bishop's attack. So either he has to go rook a8, which will become very bad because after rook c7, we see that the second rook is also ready to invade the file and the position will become very difficult. So black allows the control of open file and at the same time keeps only one rook on the board. Rook takes c1, rook takes c1 and now the rook is about to enter c7. So black goes rook a8, rook c7, keeping attack on a7 and putting pressure on the bishop. Bishop e8, moving the bishop from the attacker place and now white plays knight e5. Very strong. Now black pieces are all paralyzed and the rook on c7 is dominating the board. It attacks a7, it is putting pressure on the f7 square. Things have already become very difficult and white has simple threats like bishop b7. Black played king f8 in the game and after bb7, rook d8, he found the very simple and effective bishop c6. The bishop has Moved and attack d8 and the rook creates a discovered attack on a7. After a5, white just takes bishop e8, k e8 and do not hear if we play rook f7 which is of course playable but black will get play from the c5. We should avoid such things. White simply played knight f7 attacking the rook and after rook d7 simply takes on d7 King takes d7 and knight e5, getting a winning position. In the game, black went bishop c6. Here also, there is a very interesting line. Rook takes f7, k e8, knight c6. But again, we see that there is some play. Rook c8, rook e7, king f8. White saves himself with the move rook e6. And he should be able to win the game here as well. In the game, white chooses the simpler knight takes c6. Rook is attacked and after rook d7 just trades rook d7 and d7 wins the pawn on a7 and he was able to convert the game very easily. Some moves were as follows ke7, kf1, kd6, king e2, king is heading to d3 and white will be able to play a4, b4 and b5 followed by letter a5 and he will have an outside passer. And the knight and games are like king and pawn and games, so it's easier to convert them. And white won the game easily. I hope you are finding these lessons useful and instructive. Thanks for your.